go ahead and take that call. We do have a special caller who I got. I got somebody lined up for you. This is it's it's, it's a surprise. Okay. They said that they'd call. So uh, I don't know if this is that person or not. But we got somebody from South Alabama. Uh, who who are we speaking with? You on the, on the line with us? This is Lou Eagle. Hey, Brother Lou, how are you? I feel the spirit of the Jeremiah Revolution <laughs> rising up within me. My oh, son wow. is a Nazarite. <laughs> My son is a Nazarite. He's taking the Nazarite vow. <laughs> wow. You know who that is? This is Lou Eagle? I'm... My stone is broken. My stone, I like what you said. My stone is broken. Need to rekindle the fire. The Jeremiah Revolution rising up within us. Yeah. The call 2018. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lou, man, thanks for calling, Levi, brother. You're an armor bearer. Levi, Levi, the armor bearer. The Lord is yeah. going to use you. going to use you. Hallelujah, you really, friend. You really spoke an amazing word over my life, Lou. And I have I have remembered that for a long time. Wow! And I believe I'm, I believe I'm living it out. I believe I'm stepping into everything that you said over me when I was 12 years old. Hallelujah! Hang, hang on a second. Yeah. Can I get a number two? It's a coat. Wow. Sorry about that. I'm done. <laughs> I'm guessing he's in the drive-thru. Lou. Brother Lou called in. Check I'm here, friend. I'm here. He calls in from time to time. That's awesome. I'm loving it. Good deal. Man, Man, you spoke over my life and you said, where's the kid with the rat tail? You called me out of the crowd. You called me up there and you said, you said, what's your name? I said, Levi. You're like, Levi, God has written a book of your life. <laughs> like, when you turned 13, I was three days away from turning 13. You knew me from nothing. I was three days away from turning 13. You said, when you turn 13, you're going to go through a test. And you're going to pass that test. And in your teenage years, you're going to be known as a man of God, a, a man of prayer. And then in your 20s, you're going to shake America for God. And Lou, I think that all of that, has happened in my life up to this point. I'm 25 years old. I got five more years left. And I, I'm feeling God stirring in my life so many good things. And and to speak into people and to do things for my generation. And boy, I tell you what, it is good to hear from you. Well, hallelujah, friend. I was just hearing from the Lord, calling out the warrior within you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about, That's man. Good. Good to talk to you. It's good to talk to you, friend. Good to talk to you. Good to hear from you. And good to see that God is using you in so many great ways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've never I've never changed my mind. I experienced that presence of God, and God has stuck with me. I've never changed my mind. I've just grown in that maturity, in that faith. And I, I you know, I'm grateful for people and like I, you, Lou Angle, who sewed into me. So Can I get some extra catch up? <laughs> Um, All right. I would love to catch up sometime. That would be awesome. I got to go. The wife is calling. All right. Sounds good. Duty calls. You got to listen to that call. There's a voice of God calling, then there's a wife call. You got to listen to the wife call, too. Wow. That's good. crazy. Wow. Awesome, man. Lou Engel, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I was having a little bit of a hard time hearing him. I don't know if it was I was my too. Favorite. I was I was able to hear him, but it was kind of low. We can go back and listen to the uh, the broadcast as well. Are you still there, Lou? Okay, I believe he's gone. Yeah, he had to go with his wife, I'm sure. But wow, crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, he was in the documentary as well, right? Yeah, he was in a portion of it, and he pulled me out of the crowd and spoke over my life. Has, um, has he ever spoke to to uh, you know that whole situation? Has he ever released any statements or or contacted you guys? Well, at all? here's the thing: he was just kind of like a random guest visitor. He uh, 
I think he would just happen to be in town and Becky got a hold of him or something. Yeah. And he came by and there she's like, Hey, we got a bunch of kids here. Is there something you could say to these kids? You know, is there something we'll open up a spot for you? And he came by and spoke and and then he called me out of the crowd and spoke into my life. And I mean, I've never I really never really spent much time with him sent you know, like before or since or anything. He's just this awesome man of God who just pulled me out of the crowd and spoke. And he get and he said, You're gonna go through a test when you turn thirteen. And I was three days away from turning thirteen. I was like, Who is this guy? You know, obviously God is speaking through him. So that was an amazing moment, uh, personally in my life. So it was really good to hear from him again. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I've been promoting it and stuff, so that's awesome. I guess he's seen it. Um Wow. Um, any questions or comments or want to share your stories, man, call in. The number is streaming across the top of the video, and it's in the description as well. We're going to jump to some of these phone calls. I believe uh, Drew is on the phone. We just mentioned Drew a while, a while ago, a uh, caller from Alabama. Is this you, Drew? What's up, bro? What's going on, my brother? Man, the tide are rolling. Roll tide. Hallelujah. God bless. Amen. Hey, um, I need, and I, we can go into this story too, but I need, um, if, if, if he's there, can you punch, can, can you give Lou the phone? I think, um, I think Michael Basham's a, a fan of, uh, Lou Engle. Do you know who Lou, Lou Engle is, Michael Basham? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually at a, we're actually at a, uh, a mayor's conference right now together. It's a seminar for, uh, new young couples for, uh, uh, just how to be a godly household, but uh, hang on, let me if get him. Got, yeah, if you room. got a second, it'd be awesome if Lou Engle can come on and just say hi. The evangelist. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hello? Hey, Lou. <laughs> my revolution. Hey, my son's a Nazarite. The Jeremiah Revolution. Hallelujah. The call of the Nazarites. Uh, you guys are expecting a big turnout for the call this year? You know, brother, there is a call of the Lord that's on this earth right now that's never been before. Call of the Jeremiah Revolution for us to rise up. Rise up from who we are to who where God wants us to be. I feel it stronger than ever. I haven't changed in months. Me neither. Like, almost like the call, the call of the Nazarites. Are you familiar with Lou Engle, Michael Basham? Do you have a question? I'm Lou Engle. Um, from the call. I've I've definitely heard his name before. I haven't heard his message yet, but it's really exciting to meet you, sir. And and um, welcome to come on my show too someday if you ever have a chance. Are you guys doing a conference right now? You're doing a marriage conference. Hopefully yes, we'll um, yes, get we it. Are. Can't hear you very clearly. Right now, well, we're at a, we're, we're doing a marriage conference for young singles about uh, uh, Christian households, how to raise up children. Uh, you know, okay. it's scripture. You know, you raise them up, you raise them up in the ways of the Lord, and they, when they grow up, it will not depart from that. And that is yeah. our heart. That is our heart. The call and the Jeremiah revolution. Beautiful. It sounds like every other conference, though. Hey, Lou, where's hey, um? Go ahead. Uh, we got the doctor at the door. I think it's Davidos. <laughs> <laughs> That's good radio. Live radio. <laughs> I love Lou it. Lou Engel, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hello. Hey man, thanks for putting him on, dude. I know he's. Oh, he's here. I no, thought... no, he's good. He's... I, I, I thought, I th dude, I thought what he was. was I thought he was fasting. I thought he was fasting. No, uh, well, I mean, I think he does uh, like uh, intermittent fasting, so he'll like go six hours. days and not eat anything, and then he'll just right, yeah, and then he'll eat whatever out. he wants. But mm -hmm. he was crazy, man. He was crazy, man. Like, uh, you know, he'll eat a pizza and get real spiritual on you. It's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So, Drew, what's going on with you, man? Um, 